Hi there, my name is Karina from A Designer at Home in the Boho Boat, and today my son and I picked up this kit, the Bug Biting Plants Terrarium Set. It comes with a Venus flytrap and a pitcher plant. They're both dormant, and all of the supplies to put together the terrarium, which I think is really cool. Um, we're going to walk you through our process and what we've decided to do with the kit, plus any pros and cons that we've found. So let's jump into it. In order to hack this lantern this. to hold enough dirt to hold a plant in it, we've hot glued a piece, this piece of clear plastic from the top of the package, the uh, carnivorous plant, uh, the kit that it came with. So just a little bit of hot glue beaded around the edge and that's in there pretty good. This side has the uh, or the mechanism for this to lock. So this side's just a little bit Why does flexible. This Why does this say what? Yeah, that looks great. So now we're just putting the wet sphagnum moss on top, just like the direction said. And first we had put the layer of soil we found some melted ice that was outside. Yes, melted ice water, but you know, the way everything is freezing cold right now, uh, everything is ice. And then we're lucky enough to found some that was uh, melted so that we could put the sphagnum moss in it to rehydrate it. And Carson is doing a good job of putting those in now. Good job. And then the kit comes with dormant. You have the uh, Venus fly tramp and the pitcher plant. There we go. So yeah, we just uh, thought that we'd hack this old lantern. I did it. I Good did job. It. Yeah, be careful not to spill that to uh, hold the plants instead since they look a little bit more aesthetically pleasing than this uh, little green plastic planter and plastic case. All right, we're gonna move on to the next step, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can take a look at that. To move on to the next step though, we've gotta read the directions that came with the kit. What came with the kit? Well, it says the contents here is one package soil mixture, which we've done first in the bottom. Then we've done the one package of the sphagnum moss, which the trash is now in there. We rehydrated it with uh, rainwater that we found outside. And this? And this is the package containing a dormant Venus flytrap and pitcher plant. Yeah. So now the next step is we've left enough space for watering. Let's get in here and kind of straighten this out. Yeah. We're having a really nice day today. Second, this is here, and this is which is way more. So it says to leave enough space for watering, approximately. Please don't move those. Approximately one fourth inch from top. Now we need to plant the dormant Venus flytrap and pitcher plant. Roots pointing down, point of what growth pitcher, at the surface. What pitcher plant? The pitcher plant is this one. This one also eats bugs. Oh, can we have a pitcher plant? And that's in this package. Oh, so we, so have, we have both. Yes, remember how I showed you in here? There's two of them. One's the Venus flytrap and one is the pitcher plant. Oh, I didn't hear you say that. You weren't listening. That happens. Yeah, that happens. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Alright, so it does give us a little bit of a diagram. We're going to try and do exactly what it shows us. What's this? That's the diagram. Growth tip up, root down. So this this was hard, so I was thinking this was one of them. Ah, see, there we go. Oh. That's the growth tip, and the rest of this must be the root. See, right there? What's that? Oh. A little bit of green. Yeah, see that right there? That looks like a root. Well, what's the word with this? Here. See there? Oh! There's the root. Alright, so we have that one. And then we what's have... What's this one? 
What's this one? This one. What's, what's that one? I'm not sure which one is which. Oh. So this one's not compacted as much, so you can pretty much see the whole plant. There's some dirt on top. There's the greenery. There's the root. That's cool, huh? Hey, Clay. I wish I knew which one was which so we knew how to position them, but I suppose we'll just put one on the left, one on the right. Okay. Quick, quick, can I carry them around every day? Because I don't know if carrying them around every day would be the best of ideas, but it does have this little hook at the top so that we can move it if we need to. Hey, we don't want to hang down my room. Yeah, this is for your room. This is part of the series where we're doing the makeover for your room. And this is for my room, and that's for my room too. Yes, we did. We went plant shopping today. So it says, plant a dormant Venus fly trap and pitcher plant roots pointing down, point of growth at surface. Surface, press the dormant plant firmly into the sphagnum moss. Okay. So. Firmly. All right, that felt firm to me. And I guess we'll uh, do my best with that one there. Move that in and then press, press firmly into the sphagnum moss. Hey, can we close it? It doesn't really, oh, watch out. You're putting your sleeve in the dirt. Yeah, actually, let's open this back up, and we will actually just try to scoop the dirt down in there. I don't. Can we, can, can we close it? Hang on. We have to add one-fourth cup untreated water and place in... That's literally what it says, re and replace in. Grown in Stewart, Virginia. So the directions literally just leave off at place in, but then down here's a little chart that says place within one to four feet of a window, glass door, or. They really do just kind of leave you uh, hanging there. Or, well, well, I think we'll be sticking this on your dresser, well, which is pretty much right in front of a window that gets semi-direct sunlight. So I, from what I can gather here, that should be enough. It says remove potted plants from terrarium for direct sun. Why is, there so, why is there so much things in there? They're trying to give you all of the information on it. That's so funny. I'm an assistant. Huh? I'm an assistant. You're an assistant? Mm -hmm. You are my assistant. High five. <laughs> Love you, bud. Keep soil moist. Never below 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Do not use treated water, insecticides, or... And it just leaves you at or again. That's so weird. I mean, this is really, really cool, and for 10 bucks, uh, I mean, that's awesome. If the plants actually come out of the dormant state, I think that's an incredible deal because they did have Venus flytraps there that were not in the dormant state. They were live and ready to go, but they were $5, so you're getting two plants and essentially the terrarium kit, though we have opted to use something else. Um, mostly complete instructions so that's pretty cool so we've got it in there and we are going to go forage in the backyard for some more of that rainwater. we need one fourth cup and actually we may you think we have a fourth of a cup of water in that container there that we rehydrated the sphagnum moss in no we're gonna check we actually had enough water left over from the rehydration of the sphagnum moss huh Yeah, so there we go. I went ahead and went just a hair above the one-fourth mark because there is some sphagnus moss bits 
hanging in there. So would you like to try and pour it in there? Well, just like that. Oops, sorry. Oh. Yeah, it looks like a spot right there is leaking. So we may have to use a we may have to use a spray bottle to spray in here so that all the water doesn't collect in one spot and then just just barely ooze out like that. Hey, I got a spray bottle. Well, that spray bottle has sink water in it. Remember the instructions say that we have to use untreated water. Okay? So, we'll go find some more of that and we'll finish hydrating this. Since we lost a little bit of water, I've put a little bit more of that rainwater we collected, and I'm going to tilt this. Oh, yeah, see? It is dripping out from somewhere. There we go. Yeah, so it looks like when the water pulls up this high, because it does go down this far, when the water's pulling up, there's little tiny spots that it's leaking out of, but... I mean, even this has this like plastic fold up bit at the bottom. So it would have leaked out from this too, essentially, because this is slotted, this is slotted, and then this top would have closed slightly better than this. Uh, but I think keeping a spray bottle next to it to make sure it stays humid in there is gonna be beneficial and we need a way for the bugs to get in and out, right? <laughs> I mean, that makes sense to me, right? I think the bugs are going to get out some way here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's show. Oh, I think the bugs get in some way here. Yeah, see, so there's a, there's a hole at the top for them to get in through, but then there's little gnats can get into these too. So let's see if we can get that closed up. Do we need to do that every day? Do we need a good bit of water every day? Uh, I believe we just need to check it to make sure it's damp. Keep soil moist. Where are you taking it? I'm taking it away. Oh, well, he's going to take his still dormant Venus flytrap. Oh, well, shoot. Look at that. It tells us which one is which. I feel like I could have figured it out. So that long clump of one, that looks like that was the dormant Venus flytrap. And then the one that looked like it had two little shoots of greenery, that looks like the dormant pitcher plant. I do wish it would tell us... Okay, so if I had to sum up the things that I felt were lacking from this kit, I'd say... The full instructions there are two ors and a sentence that just ends in and place in blank <laughs> i can see in the spanish side of, of the directions that it looks like it's saying that they should come out of their dormancy in four to eight weeks so it looks like in one to two months ish time we should be seeing the plant have growth and be responsive, that kind of stuff. Uh, pricing is fine, the process is fine. And that is our finished product. It doesn't look like an awful lot right now, but I do have high hopes. I think as long as he stays motivated to keep it alive, we're gonna have no problem keeping things moist and seeing those plants come to fruition here in the next one to two months. So there we go. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe and we'll see you guys in our next video. Bye.